celebrate the 16th and get ready for the 16th edition of the 18-8 competition. Now, before the break, hearing from the coaches this time around, let's uh, dig a little bit deeper now and hear from the captains uh, of the teams, of course, that are going to be competing. Starting off with the, the captain at the helm of the defending champions, Orlando Pirates, your innocent Maela. Yeah, you know, you've got the uh, great honor of bringing this beautiful trophy out here onto stage and I'm sure that uh, the talk amongst the team is that you are going to want to retain it once again. Off season of course, uh, or rather pre-season, yeah, you were off to Spain. Any interesting places that you guys visited? Interesting food? Yeah, good afternoon to everyone. Yeah, I mean like you, like you say, we went to Spain for our uh, pre-season. It was intense, yeah, it was very tough, you know, but as it should be, you know, preparing for, uh, for this coming season. But I mean, look, uh, I think the team is, is, is training very well. You know, we, we, we are preparing really, really hard. Our intentions are clear again this season, what we want to achieve. Our objectives are, are clear for, for everyone, you know, and, and we are looking forward to, to start the campaign with, with, with MTN Trophy and hopefully we get to defend it again. Yeah, but did you visit any interesting places like in Spain and can you follow us by now? Yeah, I mean, look, we, we had a few day walks for us to explore. You know, we were, we were in Mabella. Uh, but uh, our focus was, was just football and, and trying to learn as much as we can. We also had an opportunity to watch other matches, other teams, you know, teams from England, uh, Italy. So, yeah, it was a good learning experience and hopefully we were able to come back home and, and, and show it. Well, Captain, to the Ariana's name, boy. What are you guys now? What's up? What's up? I'm fine, I'm okay. <laughs> But talk to me about your preparation. I mean, like Coach Kevin was saying, we need to be done with color. The color we email and talk about, we have a lot of people who are not really interested in the After a bowling match, you know, you share a lot of talent from that team. You're the senior member there. You need to make sure that the young ones are that in. Everyone can I got say it can't be easy from a super sport point of view. But also, it's a team that wants to win things. Yeah, good, uh, good afternoon, everyone. Um, yeah, obviously it's, it's a rebuilding phase for us now, and Super Sport has a history, you know, to the Cup Kings, you know, and as much as we've lost, we've lost players, but we've also gained a lot of experience um, around the team, and the preseason has been good. Um, now, compared to last season, now there's a bit of balance between the senior players and the young players. <laughs> Obviously, now it's preseason. We're preparing, you know, checking the combinations and everyone. You know, if Sanoga, you know, they at the back, um, a, a player that has experience in, in the league, you know, with the leadership skills, you know, and like I said, I've been preparing and checking all the combinations, you know, and we have Vincent Bulle too. Um, and I think it's going to be an exciting game on Saturday, you know, because I've played with him before. Night because it's not only pirates, and what I'm seeing is a bullet that um, first came to the best days when he was coming from free state. So I'm looking forward to to the game on Saturday. Oh, all right, Lee. Yeah, um, the Maroons have been made actually waves last season, so a lot of eyes on this team, most certainly uh, this season. Tell us about your preparations and uh, what you most look forward to when playing in a cup competition as big as the MTN. Uh, afternoon, everyone. Well, um, preparation went well. I think, like Coach said, uh, it was raining a lot in Cape Town, so we came to, to, to Johannesburg, played a couple of friendlies, and it went really well. Um, yeah, obviously, the eyes will still be on us. Uh, last season, we won our first trophy, and we want to continue with it. We, we always want to try and prove who we can, so that's why we, we're going full steam for the top end. Okay, full steam. There's a bunch of full steam. But I'm not going to turn out tears, guys. You guys did it differently. You say, I end up with the Abanya Valley, it's going to say a letter. So, one was the Zaraja and the other one vision. The French, have they been good for you? Uh, good, you good, uh, good afternoon, everyone. I think the preps have been going quite well. Um, started daily. And yeah, since we knew that we were in the NTA, we had to start a week maybe to, to start preparing for, for, for the league and for the competition. Yes, I think that we, we prepared well. We had some 
quite good friendlies and I think and all the friendlies that play good of course play quite well and we've prepared and we've tried new things, new combinations. And yeah, I think we're ready. And how big is it for you to still have see it as coach? Yeah, it's massive. It's massive. I was I was quite sad when I had the news that he was going to leave, but I was happy for him, but also you know, it, it was going to be a big opportunity for him to, to go and explore and get the new experience because he's a wonderful coach, he's an honest human being, so I wanted, I, 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 I wish him all the best, and, but fortunate enough, unfortunate for him, or fortunate for my honor, but fortunate enough he stayed with us and I'm, I'm, I'm just happy he's with us so we can continue the work and plan. Linda, you know, uh, Skupuna United hold an extra special place in my Look, I love all the teams. Um, but I want Skupuna United because uh, Gineti that side, you know, so uh, uh, my other home is now Skupuna. Um, very exciting last season, right? Um, so this time around, um, also um, a lot of expectations. And um, when you look at the new coach, he's not listening, don't worry. Tell us your first impressions of the new man at the helm. Uh, one is, I think, the coach is coming in you know, from Europe, and if we are you know, honest with ourselves, I think it's the benchmark, you know, where we, we, we put ourselves as South African you know, footballers, that's where we want to get, you know, our players always want to move abroad and play in Europe, and he's coming in, you know, in the country to also learn the culture, but at the same time also, you know, give what he, he has, you know, learned over the years abroad. So he's a, he's a good coach, and we are still, you know, learning his philosophy, how he wants us to play. And I think it's, you know, work in progress. And then we have nine years ago. Okay. But I think that's a problem. I think that's a problem. Because the problem is to get to our city. Tell me, tell me. You guys in the unit that you were in last season, a lot more expected because of the previous season and what you and Eric had done on that team. There is one big thing though that you know has a big positive. That last game, you guys finished so strong as a team. A lot is expected that you start as you finish. You beat Sundowns in the last match. The only thing, the only team that was able to do so last season. Sunborn, I mean. Good evening, everyone. Um, uh, obviously, for us, um, we are really grateful to participate, especially in the, in the MTN8. And fortunate enough, we, we also had that opportunity to experience how does it feel to win the Cup. Mm -hmm. So, it's very important for to make sure that our first game, we started on a high note. And especially last season, we had a lot of young, good, talented players. And I'm quite happy this season that our coach and the chairman have decided to bring a lot of experience to also help with the, youngster, with the youngsters that we have. And I hope it will also improve our, our club and make sure that we get positive results throughout the season. All the best. Thank you. Sheesh. We know in Masandawana, the budget is there. Tell us about your travels um, as you are prepared for the new season. Uh, I think uh, the preparation went well. Uh, we went to Australia. We got the uh, opportunity to play with uh, some good team that side. And uh, it was difficult, but uh, we managed to uh, improve the team. For me personally, I think we, we did well, and the uh, new players are changing well, the team. And uh, yeah, for us, we, we, we're, ready. we're ready for the first game. Yeah, it's always very difficult. Um, you know, a team at Mamlodi Sanda is always striving to do better, to do bigger. Lots of um, historic accolades last season. What are you managing? What are you looking to accomplish in Java from Kuba in the new season? Uh, to honest, the, the goal remains the same. We always want to win all the trophies that we compete for. And uh, we just want to improve the team to another level. And uh, yeah, we're going to push ourselves this season. Ah, I'm going to be at it. Ah, I'm going to be at it. 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 
their teams being ready, looking forward uh, to get off this season's campaign of the MTM8 competition. Now, lots of excitement, uh, as we heard uh, from Ukulu uh, earlier on. The uh, big, big incentives for the custodians of the game, the fans to get involved.